and this is a brutal article, man. The oldest daughter of disgraced megachurch pastor Jeremy Fa uh, Foster last night posted numerous videos responding to her father's adulterous affairs. The sad part is that it, it, it gets worse. It gets worse, okay? Bruce Lawn. The other day, we talked about Pastor Jeremy Foster, who got caught up in uh, an adulterous relationship, left his spouse for the mistress. Her name is Wild, so make sure you stick around for that. And basically put up a video to apologize on his Instagram. I don't know why he thought it would be a good idea to kick the hornet's nest in this situation, but he did. And sometimes when you do things like this, you don't know the consequences that are going to come with it. You don't know how people are going to react to it. And he decided to put this video up. Come to find out this lady who he left his family for, had a criminal record, and her name was the most interesting, Ratchet the Porn. Okay, She was a masseuse, so you could kind of put, your, put the pieces together of how they met. But the, the worst part about this, uh, worst, good or bad, depending on how you look at it, the best and the worst part about this, is that his daughter clapped back. And did she go in? <sighs> this is from Julie Royce. She basically just, just put together all the pieces of what was said by his daughter. Pa daughter of disgraced megachurch pastor Jeremy Foster speaks out. And this is a brutal article, man. The oldest daughter of disgraced megachurch pastor Jeremy Fa uh, Foster last night posted numerous videos responding to her father's adulterous affairs, his divorce and remarriage to his mistress and the pain it caused. He said that he was remarried. The lady's name is Ratchet to Porn. I'm being so serious right now. OK, uh, he didn't say that he got remarried to the lady who he had the affair with. For the moment, I found out he had an affair and my dad moved in with his mistress. Jane Foster said in a video posted on Instagram. And then a month and a half after my parents was finalized, I got an email because I don't have communication with him, got an email. And he was telling me that he had gone ahead and gotten married to the mistress. All right. This is a good question. You guys are bold um, and I don't mind it. So I did not know he was getting remarried. Um, from the moment that I found out he had an affair, my dad moved in with his mistress. Um, and I didn't see him for three months. She didn't see him for three. Listen, listen, I had somebody call me today. I had, some, I got, I had a friend call me today, a, a rather successful friend. And he said the, the, the despair and the sickness of this situation made him cling to Jesus even more because he never wants to end up in this situation. And that's what these situations, these are cautionary tales. These are cautionary tales for us who are followers of Jesus to, to, to never, never be in a situation like this, okay? That he hasn't talked to his family and he moves in with this lady. This is a sickness of the highest order. <sighs> after Christmas and then a month and a half after my parents divorce was finalized I got an email um, because I don't have communication with him I got an email and he was telling me that he had gone ahead and gotten married um, and before this my mom had called me and she she knew first and she called me and she was like Jaden like just want to let you know this has happened and it like it gutted me like it really really wrecked me um, and I don't know if I can adequately like put into words how that felt, but, um, no. And I, again, I'm not going to tell my mom's side of the story of things, but I'll let her do that. He, she said, did you know about the, the affair? She said, no, she did not. So she, so, so this poor teenager just went on a tirade of unloading the clip of all the details about the situation. All right. This dude was a, a part of ARC, of course, and ARC's been going through all kinds of issues. All these large denominations seem to have issues. There's the lady's name. Nine weeks after that, nine weeks after he divorces his wife with six children. Okay, it's nine weeks, yeah. A ratchet, ra ratchet de porn thonogram. A woman not associated with the church who was Charged in 2009 with operating a masseuse parlor without a license, Foster's father, Mark Foster, Bishop of the Pentecostal of the Cities, officiated the wedding. Speaking of her grandfather's role in the ceremony, Jay said, Jay said it's one of the most painful things I've experienced. Hey, you want to see something crazy? 67% of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. 
Do me a quick favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all the videos here on the Bless God Studios channel. This is a really sad one for me because this is not a rumor, this is very true. Um, my grandparents officiated my dad's uh, marriage to his mistress in their home. And in their we were home. not informed of this. And previously I tried to, I had many, many conversations with my grandparents where I tried to understand where they were coming from, where we had conversations about both of our perspectives. And so it is one of the most painful things I've ever experienced in my life. Um, and it makes me really emotional thinking about it um, because it has fundamentally altered my relationship with my grandparents. And again, like th the last year, like I lost so much more than just my dad um, and my relationship with my dad. And this is just one example of that. Um, so I do appreciate like if you could pray for my grandparents and my relationship with them and just our family in general. The sad part is that it com it, it gets worse. It gets worse, okay? Most recently, Jamie Foster posted a video apologizing for his affair. The apology comes, uh, the break news that uh, Foster had apparently joined John Maxwell's leadership company as a C-level manager. Now, I didn't, didn't even know John Maxwell has a management company or whatever. Why is this dude a part of it? He said he had a job in a private sector, but he's still working with John Maxwell. Like, I don't know. That's a whole other conversation. In the video, Foster said his marriage had been challenging and that he was overwhelmed because the church grew so fast. But he added that gave me no right to do what I did. You know, it was on me. In an Instagram post, Jaden said his father's uh, Jaden said her father's apology video is what prompted her to speak out. My dad, unbeknownst to me or my family, released the video and uh, repositioned us in a spotlight. However, he shared a very safe, filtered narrative. Why did he kick the hornet's nest? Why? Why would you want to just ride off into whatever life you're going to live? What are you doing talking about this? Uh, this whole thing is in response to my dad. And I'm, yeah, so that's that part she said. And what appears to set a record straight, Jen responded to numerous questions. Uh, they ranged from personal questions about her forgiving dad. Now, um, they asked if he was overworked, could have been avoided. My dad, uh, work does not overextend it. The, the, the saddest part about this, though, is, hold on real quick. Let's, let's play this clip. Okay, I do think that there are a ton of contributing factors to why somebody would have an affair, why my dad would have an affair. And I think that being overworked is 100% one of them. But that does not excuse the behavior. Um, there's a lot of talk about um, forgiving my dad for the mistake that he made. He didn't make a mistake. He made a conscientious decision every single day for a year, possibly more, who knows, to to continue in an affair and that's important and, and even in the, the, the definitions between apology and repentance right and thankfully this young lady's still clinging on to jesus but there's a difference between a mistake and this there's a difference between hey i'm sorry and actually apologizing which a, a, an apology is putting stuff in right standing marrying your mistress mistress does not put anything in right standing despite the fact that he was being called out by people on his staff, me, his his daughters, his his wife, um, his overseers, my sisters and I called his overseers, had a conversation and said we were concerned. They called him and called him out and he fired them. So there are a lot This of is a sickness of the highest order. Eh? <sighs> Okay, so it talks about some past issues with the with the parents. I guess the mom used to be uh, physically abusive at one point back in the day, but the dad was also verbally uh, abusive. Jane said she had a relationship with the dad, but this is not a lack of trying, according to her father. Has never repented for what he's done. About a week after she found out about her father's divorce, Jaden said she wrote him a letter asking him to sever his relationship with his mistress and seek restoration. <sighs> she begged her dad to sever this relationship with the mistress and seek re restoration. He did neither of those things, Jane said, and so that, and then a ton of other things, have led to a relationship with him just like being really, really toxic and harmful, she added. One day she left to reconcile with her father, and right now it's just not possible. We'll pray that maybe one day, like, like the Lord through, gets through to him, and he's able to repent. And so they talk about grace as an excuse, and she just, she, just, she just goes on and on and on, and this stuff is so sad. But the saddest part about this is she tried to help him reconcile. She tried to 
get him back in a right standing with his wife. She, she asked him to, and he didn't. And that was my first thought is like, we've seen men do this sort of stuff and, 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 and it's gross and it's sad. Carl Lentz, so on and so forth. And we've seen them reconcile, right? Carl Lentz is back with his wife and working on his family and allegedly making a return to ministry. So my first thought was, how does he just bounce off and marries? It's because he just kind of did what he wanted to do. He did what he wanted to do. He, he continued on in his own pursuit and for whatever reason thought it'd be a good idea to hop on the internet, share this with the world and this half-baked apology, which I think he completely miscalculated his own daughter and his own family. Gosh, darn it, man. It's so sad. It's so sad. And again, guys, hear me. Let this be a cautionary tale. Be very careful. If you got back pains, be very careful about who and where you're going to to get these massages or whatever's happening here, okay? You may think it's 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 uh, a bit LGTV of you letting a man massage your back if you really need it. But listen, I've let a man massage my back whenever I went for these sorts of massages for sports-related things. I, it's, a, you, it's better off than being in a situation where you're tempted and it gets weird and you don't know. Just, just avoid these sorts of things. Don't be in these situations. Don't be, it is not worth it. It is not worth it. That short-term burst of dopamine is not worth putting your family, your kids through this. Flirting, any of that kind of stuff, man. Don't do it. It's not worth it. I promise you it's not worth it. It, it, it sucks, man. And I've been up close and personal in, in terms of seeing close friends go through stuff like this. And it's 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 awful. It's It's really, really, really sad. Hey, this clip is from our daily after party stream. If you enjoyed it, consider signing up for our Patreon community for only $5 a month where you get access to the replays of our daily after party streams as well as the uncut extended versions of our podcast, Discord access that's private, and a discount code for our merch store, only $5 a month. And ultimately, it's the best way to help us contextualize the gospel of Jesus using media, podcasting, and of course, YouTube. The link for that is in the description or in the pinned comment. The perks are amazing. You should get on there. It's only $5 a month. I'll see you over there, all right? Peace.